So what happened, I think, was starting last March, because, you know, we've had lots of sicknesses we've had to deal with. And uh, throughout, I, I, was, I saw Dee sitting behind me. She probably remembers about 22 years ago. I almost died. I, I was very ill. And then this last year went through uh, a very difficult time. So we've always had sicknesses. And uh, I don't know that that's just what COVID was about. I have seen from that God start moving in this earth in a new way. He pulled aside a people. And he began to rearrange us. Now, yes, he used, he will use anything. He will use the devil. He'll use the infirmities that we're going through. But he used that moment to say, this is my moment. I'm going to start doing something new in my people. I look back how Cindy had prophesied to me and said in January, I, do, I, I even hate to say this. She said it publicly. But you're not going to be traveling this year like you've done in the past. She said, I don't know how that would happen. My whole schedule was already booked for the year. And she said, but it's not going to happen. And I got home and Pam said, I was watching on the web when Cindy gave you that word. And I don't know how that's going to happen. But God's going to do that in you, so you need to get ready. Well, immediately, I just thought, well, I'll just die, I guess. You know, <laughs> I, I, I didn't know how I'd ever get out of going 550,000 miles a year. You know, I mean, that's what I've done. I've been traveling even in the business world I traveled. I don't know anything else much. And uh, one of the publishing companies, Pam and I wrote one book together called The Rewards of Simplicity. And they said, we have edited books he's written with other people. We didn't have problems. When we have read your two, you two, and this book together, there is no way to even blend it all together. How in the world have y'all lived together all these years? She said, it's very simple. He's traveled for all of these years. It wasn't difficult for us to live together. Uh, and so I watched the Lord do it. I watched the Lord pull us all aside and do something differently in each one of us and rearrange us in new ways. And then, and I think we're seeing this right now, and Jane says something I want to reiterate before I really start sharing with you some things. There's new dimensions of apostolic prophetic gatherings now happening. Because he pulled us aside and he said, I'm going to have to define my remnant for this new era. See, we had entered a whole new era. And how you gather in a new era is not like how you gathered in other eras. And so think about it all of a sudden from the historical Passover that occurred that you read about in Exodus to another Passover time in March of 2020 where all of a sudden God says, I'm going to create a new remnant to pass over in a new way. And for the first time in history, he just didn't pull the Jews aside. He pulled the Gentiles aside and he says, he said, I'm going to start making my one new man for the future. Now, I'm sure Kurt will elaborate on some of that, but we're watching that happen. And it is a great sign. March 2020 becomes a very defining sign for us. And then what you have seen happening in June of this year becomes a very defining sign for us. Things are happening. It's not just the sign about abortion. And that, that is so awesome that all of a sudden we're getting new boundaries. 
But the sign really was all of a sudden the federal government couldn't just dictate to every state what was to happen. And that is very key for us to see that because that is an indicator of a great change in a nation. And let's thank God for that. Something's about to happen. So, so now with that, we, we've got to see something that a new day is breaking. Look at, you, look at the person next to you. Say, I see the sun rising on you. See, we're moving into a season of kingdom demonstration. Not church life, but kingdom demonstration. We've been moving in that season, but get ready. There's an acceleration that will begin in September. And you want to understand kingdom demonstration. And with that, we're shifting in a way into our apostolic rule for the future. See, when Bishop started pioneering the prophetic, I mean, we were gathering a remnant of prophetic people. But in 96, I was with Bishop and Peter Wagner when they started saying, but the prophetic now has to shift and realign to God's order with the apostolic. And so, see, like he said, in 86, he wrote one book, Ten years later, he starts into the next phase of the movement, and you have to think that we are on the verge of this next era creating the next move of God like we've never seen before. 